Much of the land along the Columbia Slough is known to have one thing in common. It's a history of about a hundred years of industrial use. I've started calling this area a brownfield sandwich. And right in the middle is this empty plot off North Portland Road. It will soon house nearly 200 homeless people. When I first heard about this, I thought this site is toxic. Charlotte McDonald lives about a half mile away. Back in October, the city chose this land for its second mass sanctioned homeless camp. We can't place the most vulnerable people in our community on site of an already toxic site. It's just adding to their burden. Lauren Wordis with the Department of Environmental Quality says they found toxins in the site's soil 10 years ago. It was once used for boat manufacturing. Where they broke things apart, cleaned things, repaired things, and that means a lot of different contamination over many decades. Portland's Bureau of Environmental Services now owns the property. They're required to test the soil before any shelter can can be built. Samples have been collected and are now being processed. The DEQ is still waiting for those results. We'll probably find something. What we're waiting to find out is how much and of what contamination so we know what risk that poses. So if the test results show that the site is in fact contaminated, which experts believe that it is, it's not clear yet how much it would cost or how long it would take to clean up. But that would all fall on the city to take care of before they could start safely moving home people in. I actually don't have a problem with this being a site if it was clean. A city spokesperson says their goal is to open the site in the coming months. I'm really concerned that the city is moving way too fast and doing it for all some kind of other purpose there. I don't think they just care about the people. I think they want to check mark check a box that they did a solution. The city leaders are meeting with neighbors tonight to talk about their concerns with the site, including those about land safety. In North Portland, Blair Best, KTW News.